Hey man, I'm about to unbox and review one of the most highly sought after microphones in all of modern recording. This is the Lawton Audio Eden with the wavy rating. Oh, what's up YouTube, audio engineers, producers, recording enthusiasts, microphone lovers. I'm Wavy Wayne from wavywayne.com and today I have a big old box in front of me. So big you can't even see the whole box, man. But um, this big old box came in the mail from Lawton Audio, so shout out to them. But this review is completely on Wavy right here. This is the Wavy rating system where I get to try it before you buy it. Now, and this is a very expensive microphone and we'll get off into the prices a little bit later, but we're gonna be rating this microphone based on 10 categories, which includes the features, the build quality, aesthetics, support, versatility, ease of use, performance, availability, price and also the wavy factor man how wavy is it so let's just go ahead and start with the unboxing and see what we can find out about the Lawton audio eden man so i'm super excited to open this up this is a mic that i've wanted for a long time i think like cardi b uses this mic i know young thug has used a lot of Lawton audio mics in the past but uh yes <laughs> this is a, a super exciting moment so they have right here on the front of the box before we even open it. Important, this is a heavy microphone. You must use high quality microphone stands that are weighted. If using a boom arm, have a counterweight and the base must be weighted. So please, if y'all using any cheap microphones, don't do it with um, cheap mic stands. Just don't do it with this particular microphone. You're going to pay dearly um, if you do that. It's a heavy mic and it's in a big old box. So let me get it out without breaking anything myself. Matter of fact, I'm going to just go ahead and cut this box open a little bit more so it slides on out. I always got to put this thing up because this one right here, this will this hurt you. So this thing comes in so many boxes. It's boxes on boxes on boxes uh, with this microphone, but I think that we're gonna get to it. Let's go ahead and pop this open and see what we got. Woo-wee, now that's a sexy presentation to open up to this microphone. This feels and looks like money right here. It just like, I know something magical is in this box. Can you see that? This is a, a black hard case. It's super um, uh, heavy duty and sturdy. Congratulations on your new Lawton uh, audio microphone. If you have any questions or feedback, contact, send an email to Brian at Lawton Audio. This is a, this is a real signature. I can see that the ink is smudged on there. So uh, shout out to Brian. Thanks so much for being part of the uh, Lawton Audio family. Wow. Beautiful presentation there so far. I got my serial number and all that that I can register uh, this Lawton Audio Eden microphone, man. Yeah. This is the mic that, uh, that, that, that Cardi B blew up off of. <laughs> so let me just go ahead and bust this box down so I can get this thing out of here properly. This looks like some top secret CIA type of stuff that's happening with this box. All right, they're going to box, all right? They're going to big old box. I'm going to get this thing opened up and we're going to see exactly what the Eden is hitting for. Are you ready? Are you ready? Oh, oh, oh. All right, come on. Oh, man. So first thing in the box, this thing has some white gloves, right? <laughs> That's that white glove service. I don't know what I need white gloves for when handling this microphone, but maybe it's just that that pristine is that level of uh, service. They want you to know. They want you to have that in mind. Hey, maybe when I'm changing out the tube or something, but for now, I'll leave that to the side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please read operating manual. Failure, failure to use the correct voltage setting on the power supply will damage the microphone. Since we are in the good US of A, um, I'm going to go with that 115 setting. So I'm going to just make sure that that's on there. Matter of fact, let me do it now. Here's the power supply. All right. And I can see. All right. You see there. 
it's already set to 115. Otherwise, I would need to just get a little screwdriver, open that up and flick that uh, switch, but it's all good, the power supply. Now, for such a huge mic, this is actually a pretty small little power supply and lightweight. Some mics have like much larger power supplies um, that, I'm, that I'm used to seeing, but this one is pretty small and lightweight. Um, we have the cable here. This is that specialized uh, microphone cable. Right here is gonna be our five pin cable to connect the microphone. I like how they had it. Now the, the pieces on here, they, these are heavy duty connectors. I don't even think these are Neutrik. These are something else. What kind? Oh, Switchcraft. These are Switchcraft uh, connectors on here. They are super heavy duty. They, they feel solid as a tank. All right, um, what else do we have here? We have a sleeve to put the microphone in whenever we're not using it. What is this, velvet? It's something like velvet, but not really. Um, so that's cool that we got that. All right, before I actually pull the Eden out of its case, out of the box right here, let's go over to Sweetwater.com and take a look at the features of this microphone. All right, so I'm on Sweetwater and I'm checking out the features um, that are listed here. The Lawton Audio Eden L2 386 condenser microphone features. It is designed for discerning recording engineers. That means the ones with that, that extra hearing, the one that want to hear that pristine quality. Multi-voicing switch for three distinct timbers. Now, basically, with this microphone, from what I'm understanding, they have a multi-voicing switch. So literally, there's a switch on the microphone that can switch over to three different circuitries that will allow you to get ultimately three different microphones. And then they even have a uh, voice shaping high pass filter, which could probably get you what? What's that? Six different microphones, whether you have that on or off. So you got like so many different sounds coming out of this one microphone. You have a kick drum shaping high pass filter as well. Another sound that you get out of this microphone, switchable patterns on the microphone itself so that you're gonna get your uh, cardioid, your omni and your figure eight patterns uh, that you can switch. And I noticed that those switches are not on the actual power supply. So that means I don't have to go and look for the power supply when I need to do that switch. Those switches are gonna be built right onto that microphone. Premium components and build quality. Modern EF806 tube is aged and using, is aged using a proprietary process, so they already aged the tube. Now, I know a lot of times we get a tube microphone, we feel like we have to have this burn-in process where we leave it on for a week or something like that so that it can actually get, get some age and, and start to level out. It seems like they have already thought about that with this microphone. Um, custom wound US made output transformer for excellent control of transients. You get a proprietary custom tuned di dual diaphragm pressure gradient condenser capsule. All right, we're gonna see what that means. Hopefully that transfers to sounds good either, okay? Um, high quality, high tolerance resistors and capacitors, switchcraft connectors on the microphone cable and power supply, and custom Lawton cable between mic and power supply. This is handcrafted right in California. So let's go ahead now and rate the features on the wavy rating. I'm gonna have to give this a 10 out of 10 on features because not only is it a beautiful microphone it gives you you can basically have like 10 microphones 10 different sounds down there right here with this one mic so i'm gonna have to give it a complete 10 out of 10 on the features now i'm gonna put a microphone out very carefully matter of fact let me go ahead and put my white gloves on man now i don't know if the law or maybe the man you will say that i need to use these white gloves every time i touch the mic but let's see here we go wow when they say this thing is heavy, that is no joke. This this microphone has to be about six pounds. You know, in my hand right now, it's feeling like a newborn baby. Okay, look at that. Got the plastic cover over it. Look at that chrome polish. That thing is just beautiful. The shock mount, chromed up, polished up well. The whole mic is shining. It's sparkling, baby, you know? Just look at that. All right, now when it comes to the build quality of this microphone, this is, looks like an easy 10 out of 10, okay? The, the aesthetics, the everything, also 10 out of 10. 
The look of this microphone is just beautiful. It's heavy. It's letting me know I can feel that this is going to be a um, this is going to be a, a winner when it comes to quality. They use the Switchcraft connectors. It's, that's being used actually on the mic itself. Let me turn this over. So we got the Switchcraft connectors on that mic itself. We have the Switchcraft connectors on this proprietary cable that we have that connects the microphone to the power supply. Man, that is absolutely beautiful. Now let's continue our tour around this microphone. I love this chrome finish. Everything is just so shiny. Y'all see that shine on there? Do you see that shine? Look at that. <laughs> but look at that shininess. That's that's beautiful. Um, yeah, the Lawton Audio LT386. So here we have our uh, our high pass filter section. So there's a high pass filter section right here with three different choices. There's none. It seems like pretty aggressive, and then a smooth roll off right there. Um, and this is where we have our three different voices, F, N, and G. Uh, I need to look up exactly uh, exactly what those are. Uh, for the di three different voices and then we have our three different polar patterns available that we can switch from right on this side of the mic as well. So there's just so many features uh, to this microphone, the build quality, the aesthetic, aesthetics, everything, how it looks, it's A1, okay? So the next topic that I'm going to rate this on is going to be the support. Now, of course, you can buy this from Sweetwater.com, which means that you're going to get a two year warranty with anything that you buy from Sweetwater. And of course, I am a Sweetwater affiliate. So shop with Sweetwater. Not only will you be getting the best support and the best products, but you'll also be helping out the channel. OK, so I'm going to also get this a 10 out of 10 on the support. They got a personalized contact that you can contact somebody. But regardless of whether they give us an actual manufacturer's warranty or not, I know that since I bought it from Sweetwater, I'm covered and I can al al always reach out to Brian Loudenslager to uh, actually uh, get um, get my hands on, on some help if I need it, all right? So the next thing that we're gonna talk about is the versatility of this microphone. So obviously the versatility of this microphone is huge. It not only does it have the three different polar pattern settings, it has um, the high pass filter, the low, I mean, it has the high pass filter for three different settings, one for voices and also can be used for kick drum and you have three different voicing settings. So um, don't, no matter whether you want like a classic sound or if you want a modern sound, this microphone will be able to switch to handle all of your recording needs. So damn, I'm not gonna really give it a 10 out of 10 on versatility because when it comes to a microphone, what else do you want? You want, you want the ability to change the polar patterns, you want the ability to have a um, a roll off on there. Oh, you know what what we are missing? I ain't gonna cap. One thing I'm missing on this microphone is a pad. All right, so we're gonna give it nine out of ten on the versatility. Nine out of ten on the versatility, just because I don't want to be like, you know, what I'm saying I'm going crazy. I am missing a pad switch on this microphone. That would have been the last thing to really uh, top it off on everything. All right, now ease of use. It's going to be pretty simple, but we'll get to that once I, I mean, it's a microphone. I pretty much plug it up. I got, they give me the, the specialized cable that I need to go from the mic to the power supply and I have the power cable. All I really need to do is make sure that I'm using a high quality mic stand when I plug this up and that it's weighted and counterweighted, all that. I'm about to do that right now. So give me one second. I'm going to set this microphone up and I'll be right back. 10 seconds later. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the absolute moment of truth. All right. Now, it took me a little second just to get everything set up, but it was very, very simple and straightforward, just as you would expect from any other tool mic. You connect the mic to the mic stand, you connect the cables to the, uh, the power supply, make sure everything is properly uh, powered and you are ready to rock out. So I have the Lawton Audio Eden microphone, the LT386 right here. And man, it just sounds mad good in my headphones. It feels good. Setting this up was a great experience. I just felt like I'm handling a very expensive, high quality microphone. The head, the, the, the weight and the girth of this microphone just lets you know that it is something special. All right. So 
let's go ahead and what you're hearing right now is the raw unfiltered audio coming from the Eden. Okay, now I don't I have not activated any of the uh, features on this microphone. Uh, I haven't changed anything. This is how it is out the box. So um, currently I'm using the omnidirectional. There's no high pass filter and And the voicing is set to the neutral tone, okay? So remember, there's three different tones. So we got the neutral, we have forward, and the G. Let me go. I had to refer to my uh, my owner's manual, which you should, all right, um, to, to make sure I got all this right. Okay, and gentle, okay? So there's forward, neutral, and gentle. Right now, I am on a gentle setting. Um, the multi-voicing can only happen inside the microphone. Uh, let's see. Uh, gentle provides the maximum control of bright or peaky all right uh, sources to achieve a warm vintage vibe throw on a high pass filter and you'll think you have a completely different microphone so let's do that right now so there are three high pass stages one of them is the kick shaping high pass filter and then the other is the vocal shaping high pass filter so i'm i am noticing i'm getting some plosives i'm going to go ahead and switch right now so i'm in the neutral setting with the high pass filter on i'm in the neutral setting with the high pass filter on uh yeah did i hear much of a difference a little bit let's go ahead and switch over though to the gentle setting this is right on the back of the mic all right so they are using circuitry inside this microphone to give me these different, completely different tones. So now this is the gentle sounding mic. And again, the gentle position is to control bright or peaky sources and to achieve a warm vintage vibe. That's going to be great when I'm recording uh, my pop singers and stuff like that. Um, neutral offers a nice, even response with good control over S's and starts moving towards a modern microphone, but still wrapped in a vintage vibe. And lastly, forward opens up the microphone with a familiar air of classic microphones, but also has that Lawton audio quality. So, wow, I just switched over. Okay, now I can really hear the difference as I switch it while I'm talking. I just switched over to the forward, and this sounds really good. This reminds me of like, you know, CA-100 style uh, microphones or even uh, Manly Reference. This is a really clean, crispy sound. I think like for my tone right here, I like this modern s sound of this forward tone. Like it's just giving me everything that I want in the uh, high end area right now. Um, I am also using that uh, the the voice shaping high pass filter. Now, keep in mind that there are also different polar patterns. But since I'm just using this in the case of like recording my vocal right now, I'm not I don't need to switch away from the uh, cardioid pattern that is set by default. Um, let's go ahead and turn off the high pass filter, though. It's dope that I can do this without having to move. So now I can see that the high pass filter, it did like I'm, I am getting more of those low frequency ends. Let's switch it back on. OK, now there we go. There we go. There we go. I like it. I like having that high pass filter turned on with the forward setting. Let's go back to another setting here. I'm going to switch over to neutral. All right, so that's neutral. That's neutral. That's neutral. And then let's switch over to gentle, 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 gentle. OK, so it is a lot more softer on the uh, gentle setting, a little more warm. And so if, if you have a source, a, a vocalist or whatever that is extremely uh, uh, transient and, and they have those uh, peaks and, and, and brightness, uh, this might be a great way to control that right here through the microphone. All right. Um, yeah, I would love to know what I think. But so far, for as far as ease of use, can I figure this out pretty easily? Absolutely. Uh, honestly, I'm gonna have to get us a 10 out of 10 on the ease of use. And when it comes to performance, man, there's just so many different features, so many different tones and, and the way that it works is it, beautiful. I'm gonna also give it a 10 on performance. All right. So let me go ahead and stop this recording. And let's wrap this review up. All right, so the Lawton Audio Eden offers so 
much versatility, so much flexibility, and the performance is out of control. Now the availability, I've looked on Sweetwater.com, it's available right now and it can start shipping. So you know when you order with Sh Sweetwater, you'll be able to get this microphone in to you in about two to three days shipped. So uh, I'm really happy that you know you can find it there and they have it in stock. So you might wanna go ahead and grab one of these if it's in your budget, all right? So as far as availability, I'm gonna also hit this microphone off with a 10. Now, let's get to one other thing here, and that's gonna be price. Now, <laughs> that's a big thing for a lot of us, especially if you are in a home studio setting or a, um, or, or a project studio. The price is gonna be a big factor for us all. It's a big factor for me. Currently, right now, Sweetwater has this microphone with a sale going on for $3 thousand two hundred and ninety nine dollars and ninety nine cent and that's with six hundred bucks taken off the original is nearly four thousand dollars three thousand eight hundred and ninety eight dollars is the original price for this which i think is a lot of money for a microphone is it the most expensive microphone absolutely not if we're comparing this to something like the sony c800g or a, a Telefunken a U47 style microphone, then this is a really affordable option if we're comparing it to other very high-end microphones. Even the Manly Reference microphone, I think it's somewhere around the $5,000 range. So if we're comparing it to the high-end microphones, then yes, this is a great affordable price, but for most of us, this is gonna be a little bit out of reach. So when it comes to the pricing factor, uh, I'm gonna have to give this an 8.5 out of 10 on the price. I think it's a, a great price for high-end microphones, but high-end microphones are just overpriced. <laughs> Now, let's talk about the wavy factor when it comes to this. The wavy factor includes all of the different um, all of the different uh, uh, aspects that we've covered here today, you know, but my overall feelings when I uh, handle this microphone and use it and, and I'm what I'm hearing, my own personal uh, recommendation on this microphone, man, honestly, with the history that this microphone has had, has it, this has been used on a lot of number one records already. Um, it's a solid microphone for a not so bad price. Um, and when you're talking about high-end microphones, I'm gonna have to give the Lawton Audio Eden a strong 9.5 out of 10 on the wavy factor. And that is as high as it goes, man. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm super impressed. I'm super excited and I'm ready to really put this thing to the test with more, um, with more applications. I can't wait till I have a recording session next and I'll get to put a rapper or a singer in front of this Eden, uh, make sure that I got my white gloves on when I'm setting it up. So. Let's take a look at the totals for the Lawton Audio Eden so you can get your overall wavy score where I try it before you buy it. Let's total it up. All right, y'all, so the official wavy rating is in. It's been tallied, the votes have been tallied up and the Lawton Audio Eden is gonna get a strong wavy rating of 97 out of 100. You should definitely buy this if it's within your budget. This is a microphone that will be great in your collection. I'm just happy to own it myself, man. Where my white gloves at, you know? It's the, it just tops it all off that it came with the white gloves. But yeah, really a strong choice for vocal recording, a strong choice for kick drum recording. This will make a beautiful room microphone, probably even guitar cap. It's super versatile with all of the different settings that we can do on here. So if you're looking for a great high-end microphone that's not gonna absolutely crush every budget that you have, check out the Lawton Audio Eden. I'm Wavy Wayne from wavywayne.com. This has been the Wavy Rating. This is a, a review chance, for, a chance for me to review it. So I try it before you buy it so you don't have to go crying. You feel me? Y'all be dope.